Hi, I'm Charlie Fripp from IT News Africa and today we're speaking to Brett Musselbrook who's the Enterprise Mobility Manager for Samsung. Welcome. Good day, Thank how you. are you doing? Good. Good. Um, let's kick off with Samsung's strategy for Enterprise Mobility in South Africa. Do they have a strategy? What's going on? Well, absolutely. We've been uh, active in uh, local industry for about 18 months now. Um, fortunately, on the back, we've got a successful run with the consumer products uh, that have been uh, proliferating across the uh, across the market. So, really, our strategy um, is is uh, there's a few faults to it. Number one, we carry a very broad uh, product portfolio, so we hope with that portfolio to be able to cater for multiple segments of the market uh, and levels of uh, mobile user. Uh, together with some supporting technologies that we have developed and, and are bringing into the space. We do uh, like to certainly like to believe that we are um, somewhat differentiated from the other players in the industry in the fact that we come to market more as a solutions-based advisory uh, body versus just a handset manufacturer that, that uh, is, is doing the traditional box drop that one sees in the space. Um, and adding a lot of value by way of our interface with customers, uh, by way of the consultative type capacity that we take on the technology and on the devices with, with corporate South Africa. So we've cut uh, a strong market for ourselves. Um, as I mentioned, it's been well adopted, mm. so we're very humbled by that. But there is a lot of work to be done in this space uh, from a technology perspective and certainly from an education and understanding perspective in, in the local SA market. Mm. Hey, would you say that's why Samsung's also so successful, not only in South Africa, Africa, but, but worldwide, is setting themselves apart and doing all these things, and like you mentioned, the other mobile phone manufacturers, they maybe just make a phone and nothing else. Yeah. Look, uh, the easy answer to that is, is I'd like to think yes. <laughs> um, we are f very fortunate in the fact that we're able to lean on group technologies. Mm. We're a very diverse group at, at, uh, at a global level. Uh, and of course, that's helped us to, to bolster the, the mobile offering. You know, we have some underlying technologies that are, that are deployed across uh, the product sets that we take to market. And I do believe it's a, it's a very strong differentiator. We're very committed uh, to the local markets that we operate in. Um, so, uh, you know, if one takes that market seriously enough, the market will respond to you, yeah. which we've seen at a local level. And it is replicated globally. So, uh, to answer your question in, in, in a broader base, uh, if one looks at the European models and perhaps the American, South American models, a uh, very similar B2B setup, if you will, by way of their approach to market. Mm. So it's a recipe that uh, we're comfortable with and, and the South African market is, is fortunately enjoying. Okay. So if a company or an organization comes to Samsung um, for enterprise mobility, how can they benefit from that process? All right. Well, the uh, interface normally that we, we manage with, with the corporate environment involves a few angles. Uh, number one is uh, the product set, as I mentioned uh, earlier. So uh, we need, uh, and we do consult by way of an understanding of what the requirements of the customer are. Um, we are very clear with the customer around where our technologies are and the life cycle of those products within those technologies so that when the customer is deploying some form of a mobile solution within their environment, it's well aligned with the likes of our technology and specifically our timings to market with the products as well, which of course can very adversely affect uh, some of these rollouts mm. if, if not correctly coordinated. Over and above that, there are supporting uh, technologies by way of, of connectivity, by way of applications, uh, also by way of um, device management software, which um, are quite extensive in the market. And we are in a fortunate position that we work with a number of global players um, of uh, such software, the MDM type software and, and uh, management software. So we are uh, in a confident position to be able to advise customers um, or to create a workshop scenario where a customer can go and evaluate um, a number of technologies that are out there for best fit for the organization. So all in all, it's a pretty comprehensive process. We do uh, work jointly with the customers on uh, live pilots and projects and POCs by way of deployment of devices and support of those active devices whilst those, those projects are, are underway for evaluation. Um, so it really is an end-to-end -end process. Uh, we stick very close with the customer. We understand what, uh, what uh, they wish to achieve out of, out of these projects and we stand by them throughout that entire process. Okay, and then tell me a little, bit, a little bit about Samsung's Enterprise Alliance program. Yes, that is critically important. Um, one of the major cornerstones of, of uh, our development in, in the SA market is the fact that we have a very vibrant uh, ecosystem of developers that, that mm -hmm. sit out there. Obviously, uh, independent software uh, vendors, as well as the system integrators, for mm -hmm. that matter, into, into back-end systems and, and peripheral systems. So uh, Samsung has the CAP program, uh, which is the Enterprise Alliance program, a global program that enables uh, those partners to come on board 
uh, and partake and participate in the technologies that we have. They do uh, obviously have visibility to, to uh, product and, and tech that uh, obviously the, the, the average consumer might not. Um, they have access to products for development purposes and they have a, a direct tie-in to the technical support uh, that Samsung offers as well. So all in all, a very, uh, very uh, comprehensive program that's in place and it really designed to, to create a strong conduit uh, to market so that we, we as, a, as a community in SA can, can help to develop and stimulate uh, you know that, that development uh, model to, to market as well. Okay. Um, what solutions can Samsung provide um, for specific situations or specific solutions? What specific solutions can Samsung provide? Abs absolutely. So outside of the traditional devices that uh, we would take to market, which of course is the cornerstone of our business, um, Samsung has applied a lot of uh, resource and time into the development, in fact, of a number of vertical solutions is, mm -hmm. is perhaps the, the, the angle you could look at it. So whether one is dealing with the health the healthcare uh, infrastructure or, or fraternity or perhaps uh, the education sector or public sector of that matter, which has its own sub-verticals, there are layers of software and, and software solutions that have been written by Samsung. Um, that involve a, a number of aspects. There are, uh, for example, in the education space, the smart school application, which is a full-blown uh, edu um, uh, education application deployed in the schooling environment, which um, manages the, the remote and, and mobile application uh, learning of, of children. In fact, the first one is uh, already live and running in Africa in, in Santa. Um, and there are a number of other verticals that we've, brought, we've got a product available to, uh, to launch to market. Um, each of these, of course, uh, in their own respect, uh, carry a different weight, but obviously key verticals at this point for, for South Africa, given our situation, is education and healthcare. Mm. Um, then as a last one, two-part question. Mm. Um, what products are best suited, what Samsung products are best suited for enterprise mobility? And on the back of that, Samsung has the new S4, if you could just run through the S4 with us? Most certainly. <clears throat> Look, the, um, the easy answer uh, by way of the corporate environment or the enterprise environment is that the uh, product sets that we put to market um, are clearly targeted at certain customers or consumers. The enterprise market is a prime target market for typically the smart device, mm. given the fact that we have uh, a range of smart devices uh, sitting next to that. We have a range of feature phones, which of course uh, can be a mild crossover into uh, into the corporate space, but are well adopted by the general consumer. And then below that, which we term the ULC, which is the ultra low cost, uh, basic uh, voice and, and data device, which of, of course is in proliferation in, in our local market as well. So uh, in direct answer to your question, very much a, a smart enabled device. Uh, the, the obvious uh, tie in there is the fact that the device must be able to, to conduct business transactions and activities, which includes a level of communication. Uh, via email and, and uh, instant messaging applications, but also access to the internet and access, uh, and access uh, the application type environment where one would be running business applications. This of course brings us to the, uh, the flagship device which we've launched recent, recently, the Galaxy S4, um, which uh, has sold extensively well in the local market. We of course have backed, um, backed the product significantly at, a, at an exposure level. Um, it is a product that we know has cracked open a number of firsts against other manufacturers at a global level. Um, and, thus, and thus, we we have seen a very, very positive reaction from the market. Um, we expect this will last a significant amount of time uh, in the market. And obviously, we hope to capitalize on, on this, uh, this product as well. Excellent. Brett, thank you so much for joining us. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye.